Okay, welcome to another wonderful segment of our online class. Now, in this video, I'll be showing us how to make boxers. Now, there are basically two types of men boxers. You have the pant boxers. The pant boxers, the fabrics are kind of elastic. And again, they normally use this for the waist point. You see this elastic for the waist point. Now, the next boxers I also show is the banana boxers. Now, for the banana boxers, instead of using this, they will use this and turn the fabric. So I'll be showing us how to sew the two types of boxers. But in the course of this video, I don't have the stretchy fabric. So I'll be making use of this fabric. One will be on how to fix this and the second will be on how to fix this. Okay, so having said that now, I'm making one for a kid. Now this is the waist, the measurement for the kid. The waist is 23, the boxer length 12, the hip is 26, and the, the tie is 17. Then for the adult boxer, the waist is 26, the tie 25, the boxer length 14, and the hip is 14. So let's work on this brown paper first before transferring it to our main fabric. So that the excellence of we using our pattern paper is for you to have an already made pattern so that whenever you want to cut you just pick this and place it on the fabric now to begin with you fold your pattern paper into two as usual you fold it into two now let's start with the down now we are folding this down one inch i'm folding this down one inch i'm folding this down one inch to start with one inch now, one thing about making our boxers, unlike your trousers, you have four pieces. But in making boxers, we have just two pieces, the back and the front. But your trousers, you have four pieces. So, now, that is one. Then, so to begin with, let's start. Now, remember, you fold this one inch at the down. So, from here down to the waist, the boxer length is 14. You can also use 15 if you want to. So let's work with 15. Boxer length, 15. So we'll mark here, 15, mark a straight line. This is the length. So this is our waist point. This is our waist point. Now the next line I want to take is the tie point. And for you to get the tie point, divide your hip by four. Now the hip of this person is 40. So 40 divided by four gives you 10. You also add one inch. Take note, hip divided by four plus one inch. So hip divided by four is 10 plus one inch, 11. So mark 11, so mark 11. So this is the tie point. This is the tie point. Now let's apply our measurements. In cutting boxers, we don't need the waist point here. We don't need it here. The reason is because there is no slit using zip. Okay, so now the hip of this person is 40. So 40 divided by 4 is 10. So from this point, you mark 10. Take note, this is the 10. Now, over to the tie. Remember, this is the tie line, which is hip divided by 4 plus 1. So the tie of this person is 25. 25 divided by, five, uh, by 2 is 12.5. So you mark... 12.5 here, mark 12.5 there. All right, so we'll mark our 10 too here. Mark our 10 here, okay? So now, you now make a nice curve, your crotch. You make a nice curve, okay? For those of us that don't have this, let's, let me show us how to go about this. So we mark a straight line down, for those of us that don't have this. Then from this point here, take note, from this arc here, this point can move out by three quarter inch and you make a nice curve here then from this point you mark two inch from here you mark two inch so you make a nice curve passing through this to this so this is how to get your crotch you make sure you have a nice crotch there all right so we have that so we take this out for those of us for those of us that have our pattern mask, I can simply place this as shown. Simply place this, then just make a nice curve there. All right. Now, the ending of the box, I take you, the ending of the box, I simply remove 0.5 inch from the tie. 
Now the tie of the person is 2, 12.5. So 12.5 minus that will give you 2. Take note for any measurement at all. So you connect these points here. So you connect these two points. So you connect these two points. Now we are making use of this. Take note, we are making use of this. So I'll add 1.5. Okay, sorry, before that, now let's call the back. Take note, we are through with the front, so this is all about the front. We are through with the front, so we we'll still cut the back on this. Now, to cut the back is very easy. Now, at this point, I'll be adding just one inch. Take note, in every human waist, the back is always higher, so you add at least one inch here. So, you add one inch and you connect this to this point here. Take note, you connect this to this point, you connect this to this point. Now, I'll be adding 2, 2 inch. Take note, I'll be adding 2, 2 inch. We are cutting the back now. So from here, I'll be adding 2 inch, 2 inch, 2 inch, 2 inch. Then, the type point, I'm, I'm adding 2.5. If you want to add 3, you're safe. So I'm adding 2.5 here. So, I'll mark a straight line out there. Mark a straight line out there, right? Remember, this is 2.5. So you still make your nice curve again down to this point. You make your nice curve as shown. Just make a nice curve this way. All right. Then you now connect this down, 2 inch. Connect this down as well. This is the back part. Take note. This is the back part. All right. So now take this up. So you recap of the back, you just add one inch up here, one inch up, then you add two, two inch all through down to this point. Now, when you're true, when you're true, now we'll now add 1.5, still at the back. Take note, still at the back. We're adding 1.5. The 1.5 is to enable us to fold this elastic. Take note. The 1.5 is to enable us to fold the elastic. So from this point here, 1.5 we're adding 1.5 take note we're doing this at the back slope 1.5 1.5 for we are using this to fold the elastic 1.5 1.5 so we connect this all right okay so that is it. All right, remember this first line represents the front part here, and this second slope line represents the back panel. We said we just add one in because the back waist is higher than the front. While this third line here is the part that we use to fold. All right, having said that, we're not cut. We're not cut. We are starting with the back. Take we're cutting the third line, so we're cutting the watch carefully, cutting this, cutting the second line, and we're cutting this down. Remember that part is still on four. All right, so we now have this. So now watch care. What to do next? We now open this. We now open this and work on. Remember, we use the back cutting. We use the back cutting. So what we now do is we now open this. We now open. We now open this and focus on automatically. So this represents the back point. This represents our back. So we now work on this part. So now let's work on this part. Okay, now let's focus on this part here. Now let's focus on this part. Now. We now add, remember this second line here, this and this line represents the back panel, so we'll remove it here. We are just half of this is, this is the center of this, so we are focusing on this to represent that for now. So from this first line here, the very first line, we now add, we mark our normal waistband, which is 1.5, right? Take note, so we are marking 1.5, 1.5. One point stop at the center there, so we now connect this back to this line. So 
we now connect this back to this line here. So we now cut off this. So we now cut off this point here. We cut off this. Now, if you take a look at some of your boxes, you will notice that there is a hole there. Maybe if the person wants to use it to urinate, there is a hole there for male boxers. But in this case, we are not fixing that hole. But if you want to fix the hole, you add, let's quickly check, we mark 1.5 or 2 inches, either 1.5 or 2, and the length we are using is 8. Take note, 8. So we now make this curve like a zip plaque, and now make this curve here. So I just show us, so we now cut from here, so we cut off here, like this, we cut off here like this, then we now cut off here like this. The front part, we are cutting the front part now. This is the front part, the initial front part, we are cutting off now. So, now cut off this. Okay, so we now have this. Now, for if you don't want this, you can, like I said, you can remove it. In this case, we are not making use of this. I'll show us how to go about this in the second video. So, this is how to cut our pattern paper that we use for sewing the boxers. Okay, so when you're through with your pattern, now this is a pattern. So you now get the fabric you want to use and you fold it into two as shown. Make sure it is as wide as the pattern that you have. So you now place the pattern on this. You now place the pattern. Remember, this fabric is folded into two automatically to give us the back and the front. So you now fold this as shown. You now place this as shown. You now place this as shown. Then if you have your pin, you pin all through. Then you now cut. So now cut at the edge of our pattern. We cut at the edge all through. So let's do that now. Okay, so I'm through the cutting. So I'll remove my pattern. So we have this. Like I said, in cutting box, you need just two pieces alone. So automatically we have the back and the front. So the next thing I'll be going, we'll be going to our sewing machine to do the sewing now. Okay, now, we want to start the sewing proper now. Now, let's start with this part here. Remember, there is no opening, there is no slit. In the second box sash, I'll show us how to go about that. So, remember, we, already, uh, we added two inches sewing allowance. So we are sewing half inch. So, we're sewing half inch. This is one part. So, we're sewing. There is no weaving in making box as You don't weave. So, I'll show us how to go about that. So, we're sewing it. To the end now when you're true when you're true with the sewing you remove the upper part take note you remove the upper part remember we just did the sewing as you can see we did the sewing half inch so you remove the upper parts as shown okay i've removed the upper part so what you now do now double fold on it fold one two let's take it again this is it this is the part that we remove so you now double fold one two then we'll now sew again so we're sewing this down to the ending so let's do that now i'm doing the double folding now we are doing this so you double fold it down to the end we are not weaving the box out so we are through with that so we'll now do this for the second part as well. So we we'll now do this. We we'll sew half inch, remove the up part and the double fold. So let's do that now. All right, so we're through with the two sides sewing. Now, let's move to the down. Now, this is the down part. So you now open this down part. You open this down part. Then you now join this. This is the down part. So we'll also sew half inch as well. Then we we'll now fold again. So watch while I do that. We're sewing just half inch. This is the down part of the box art. This is the down part of the box art. We are sewing half inch. Then, when you're through with that sewing, you now remove the upper part, remove the half inch a little, then you now double fold again. Okay, so we are through with the down folding as well. So as you can see, everywhere is neat. So this is the back, the good part. So now the down part too, we double fold. Now this is around the ending of the boxers. This is the round part. So you double fold as well. One, two, and we sew this round. So you do this too for the second leg as well. 
Okay, so we are through with all, we are almost through with our boxers. Now, the next thing for us to Okay, so the next thing for us is to fix our elastic. Now, for us to do that, this is one yard of elastic I have with me, but we are not using all. So what I'll do is I'll fold this into two. I'll fold, there is no particular measurement depending on how good your elastic is. So now you place this, this is the folded part, this is the folded part. Now you now place this and drag and see if it will get, remember the, this point here is 40. This point here is 40, as you can see, it's 40. So we now drag some persons. Remember, the waist of this box is 36, so you can actually use the 36 depending on how the elastic is there. So now, please unfold. So let's, I want to check here, and I'll now drag and check if I'm okay with this. I think I'm okay with this. So I'll cut off one inch and now sew. All right, so I'll now sew this, I'll now sew this. Okay, so I'm through with the sewing. I'm through with this sewing. So now I'll quickly mark out four points here. This is elastic, so fold this into two, and I'll quickly mark out four points out. So mark it out four points. Remember this part, then this other two parts. Also mark out the four points. Yeah, we we'll make use of this. So also place this four point now. Remember, automatically, these are the two sewed points here. These are the two sewed points. So at these two edges, I'll quickly put a knot. These other two edges here, I'll quickly put a notch. So now, now this is the wrong side of our box. I'll take with the wrong side. So now place this. Now place this in. So those points, this chalk point, this point that I marked, you take it to one of the notch points. So this is it. So this is it. So you pin this down, you pin this point down. Take note, you pin this down, take note. Then again, you take the next chalk point, that will mark, this is the next one. You take it to the next sewed part, you pin that down. So you do that round the four points. After that, you now go to sew. Okay, so in the absence of the pin I used, uh, um, I just tacked it there. So now fold this, so now fold, take note. Now for this one point here, so now full. Remember, I said we leave at least half inch. So now full this. Now full. Then we we'll now sew at the edge. So while sewing, you'll be dragging this down. Take note. We we'll now fold this. And we'll now turn this. And we we'll now top. So while sewing, please, you'll be dragging it. You'll be dragging the last. So watch while I'll be doing it. As you can see, while sewing, you'll be dragging the elastic. While soon you're dragging your elastic. So when you stop at one point, you drag again. Okay, we're almost through with our boxers, as you can see. So now this is our boxer is almost ready. So what you now do is you now top stitch again and you drag. So we'll do this all round. You are top stitching at the middle while doing that. You drag both sides. Make sure you drag both sides. You are top stitching at the middle. So this is how to make your banana boxer. So in the next video, I'll be showing us how. So. Here is it as you can see our boxers is ready okay so our boxers is, so this is how to make a very simple boxer so in the next video i'll be showing us how to do the same thing but this time around we are using this for the waist so we are not doing this folding but rather this will be at the waist point once again you're watching pj collection clothing online training Okay, now I'll quickly show the second method, the second method of cutting our boxer. Now, the difference is that we we'll have this at the waist point, no need for us to fold. Then two, there also be an opening there. There also be an opening. So that is just the two difference. So now, this was the first pattern. I'll quickly alter this pattern. Now, we are doing for this kit now. We are work, let's work with this. So first, remember you fold the down part one inch fold it down part one inch now the boxer length for this person is 13 so from this folded part down 13 
So this is 13, but we're not marking at 13. Why? Because at the top here we'll be fixing this. So instead of marking 13, the height of that band is 1.5. So mark, we'll remove 1.5. So the total box length will now be 11.5. Take note. So this is where we're marking. So we're marking from this point here. So we're marking from this point. Take note. This is where we're marking from now. The other part will fix. So by the time we now fix this, it will now arrive at 13. So from this point. Now the next thing for us to do is to take the tie point. The tie point is hip divided by 4. The hip of this person is 26. 26 divided by 4 is um, 6 point. I think 6 point. So that is 6.5. Take note, 20, 26 divided by 4 is 6.5 plus 1 inch. That is 7.5. So mark 7.5. Okay, let me turn this so that we will not get confused. Let's not get confused. Let me quickly turn this. Okay, so I've changed that so we will not get confused. Alright, so now from here is the heat divided by 4 plus 1. This is 6.5. Plus one gives you seven point five. So mark seven point five here. So mark seven point five here. This is seven point five. Okay, now the the tie of this person is seventeen. Seventeen divided by two, it's eight point five. So mark eight point five. Now the hip of this person is. 26, 26 divided by 4 is 6.5. So we quickly mark this point down. Quickly mark this point down. Then you get your curve. Already showed us how to go about our curve. So you get your curve and you curve this. Right? So you curve this. Now for the Ending part of your boxer is the tie measurement minus half inch. Remember, here is 8.5, so here we we'll mark 8 inch. So now connect this two points down. So we'll quickly connect these two points down. So now I'll be adding my back. Now we are through with the front panel. So to cut the back, we we'll quickly add 2 inch all through. So we'll add 2 inch all through. This 2 inch. 2 inch, 2 inch. Now the tie I'm adding 2 and half. So I'll quickly add 2, okay, 2 inch as well. So we're adding 2 inch. So now connect these two points. We'll connect these two points down. Now, okay, we'll also connect this point down. Connect these two points and we'll make our curve there as well, okay. So now we now have this. Now remember the back we are adding just one in. We said that the back part of the buttocks is always higher than the front. So from here we are adding just one inch. So we are connecting this back to this point. So we are connecting this here. So, so that is it. We are not adding anything folding because this will serve for the waistband. So watch. We we'll quickly cut the front. I mean the back, we are cutting the back, we are cutting the back, the back first, we are cutting the back, okay, now, now open this, now quickly open this, now, we said, now this is the front, let's focus on this part, the front, we said that there will be an opening, there will be an opening so first okay we we'll remove this as well we are removing this take note we are removing this this was for the back panel now we said that there will be an opening unlike the first one we made now the width so we'll mark here 1.5 take note we'll mark here 1.5 then moving by 5 inch take note so now curve this 1.5 and now curve this so, so we'll now cut from here. So watch. So we'll now cut from here. So we'll now cut like this, like this. We are cutting the front initial marking. Take note, the front initial marking. That is what we are cutting now. So 
to all right so we now have this so this is what you have so we now use this and place on the fabric that you want to use okay so this is the fabric that I want to use so now place your pattern on the fabric they will not trace place your pattern on the fabric and you now trace so let's do that now okay so when you're through with the cutting so we now remove this so we now have this is what you have so now let's proceed to the sewing now in this sewing there is a little bit different from the first one we did now remember we added this part here so what we do is this we'll go to our sewing and we'll sew from here take note we'll sew from here let's say you sew and stop at 1.5 take note we'll sew from here and stop at 1.5 then we'll now jump now skip and start from 3.5 down let's take it again you sew from this point here this point you sew from here you stop at 1.5 then you jump 3.5 and you continue from there down so let's do that now okay i don't know if you can see it clearly i've done the swing i stopped here make sure that this point is right there. then you jump and you continue from here down as you do now this point here this point these two stuff first you open this then you now double fold you double fold and we sew take note double fold you open this and you double fold this in the form of your zip placket so now sew that okay i've done the fold now open is the second one the same thing take note the good side this one we folded it to the wrong side while this one still fold again twice double then run this down to the curve so let's do that now okay so we're through with the second folding as well just like the first box that we did so the upper part this down part that we join remove the upper part and we double fold so we are removing this upper part we have in that so we remove it as remove this then now double fold the down one twice double fold okay so as you can see i've done the double folding now now open this now open this now this part remember okay so when you're through you open this now remember this two stuff you take it to your right you take it to your right then we now sew you just sew like this curve just the way we do you do this in form of the way you sew your your belt your zip placket okay so we do that down then also do the down part if you want to you do the down part as well all right so having done this we now sew the rest part the way we just did the first boxer so we now close this so we now close this we sew half inch remove the front part then you double fold when you're through with this part then the down part you open this as well you sew this together Remove that and you double fold. So let's do that now. 